And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana Lux. This is a donation deck that we played about a month ago, maybe a little bit more, that was impressive. That has kind of like a hodgepodge of cards that don't really look like they go together, but it worked out really well because just everything in the deck was pretty solid. And so let's try it again. That was even before we have the new, more powerful four power shivana so basically what we have going on here is we have the um early game of we're, so we're playing demacia and shadow isles we have the early game of the curse keeper plus blighted caretaker combo right like that's a, a super powerful combo um and then besides curse keeper we also have egghead researcher which is another thing that we can kill with the blighted caretaker that's just going to be creating a random dragon in in hand and that's kind of a theme for this deck is we have um a lot of just powerful cards <clears throat> and a lot of things that replace themselves. So we have like Egg Egghead Researcher against the Random Dragon Follower. We have Unspeakable Horror in here that we played at Nightfall and we just get a random Nightfall card. We have um, Glimpse Beyond in here that can draw two. Of course, our mid game, pretty powerful with having Shivana, Radiant Guardian, got good removal with con Single Combat, Concerted Strike, and Vengeance. So very good removal. Good Challengers with the Screeching Dragon. And then we have like the power of Lux. You know, like Lux is a really powerful spell making all these final sparks and everything. So we have that with the top end with, of course, Remembrance. So there's a lot of times we'll have turn three Remembrance. That's going to be a big part of our deck. A couple of Haymakers at the top. We got a Judgment uh, that people may not see coming and an Unyielding Spirit. Last time, um, only changing one card, last time we didn't play Unyielding Spirit, we played Rasa. But I think that the current metagame, like, there was a lot more uh, like Trundle and Swain Leviathan decks and stuff like that, like where Rasa was, was very good. But I think that there's more um, decks that are going real wide and more Shadow Isles and more reasons to play Unyielding Spirit. And so we're going to be doing that instead of the Rasa. Um, but yeah, let's have some fun. Let's go play our five games over in Ranked. We're going to be playing some Ranked today, um, playing three decks. Shen Fiora, of course, is like the um, most like tier one, one of them. And then... Vladimir's Fortune, just a fun Misfortune Vladimir deck that uh, made a couple of changes to that one to run back and this one. So a couple of decks that, that we've played before that I wanted to run back. Let's see how they all do today. Hey, got a donation. Okay, build a deck around Vaults of Helia. Will do, League Nog. Thank you so much for that donation, for a donation deck. I appreciate that so much. Thank you very much. I mean, I like this hand. What are we playing against Diana Nocturne? Vengeance is a little slow. Yeah, we'll mulligan Vengeance and Egghead Researcher. Because my plan right now is turn 3 Remembrance, turn 4 Shivana, now turn 5 Screeching Dragon. So good turns 3, 4, 5. And so because of that, that's why mulligan the Egghead Researcher, because we just don't really need it. I guess I, I could also just do Curse Keeper into Blighted Caretaker. Since we have that and they have two things to challenge with Blighted Caretaker. That doesn't sound too bad either. Yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. Oh, nice, Kordak. Do you have a uh, list to link by chance? So fast. Sorry, Remembrance. Could That's definitely be a good Radiant Guardian matchup, but we don't have... <clears throat> we don't really have any, like, fight spells. What do you see? You're a 1-1 one -one now? I will definitely trade champions if they want to. Nocturne, very powerful. Want to get that out of here. Alright, let me save this. So do I attack for six? 
and make them or make them waste their mana. They would only be wasting two mana. All right, people say pass. All right. They're just gonna make. They're just gonna have me pass, I guess. I just wasted all this mana back. I cut. I instinctively clicked it the second time. Ooh. All right. So let's go with this. Look. Hopefully, find some fight spells. Cool. Oh, come on. Unspeakable Horror created Eclipse Dragon for him. So, debating between... I can either... Man, we have we have some different options. So, we can we can just, like, Concerted Strike, kill the 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, I could play another Screeching Dragon. Here. I could just challenge here and then play Remembrance, which I think I kind of want to do that. Just challenge and play Remembrance. Oh, no, no, oh, man, I meant, I guess I would have had to do, challenge the Crescent Guardian. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so we're not playing Remembrance. <laughs> then we go Concerted Strike this turn. We can hold up, like, Vengeance for next turn. Yeah, get some Nexus healing with the Strike. We have a very powerful hand, but the mana cost of all of our cards is, is pretty expensive. Not going to be easy to double spell. We, of course, want our Radiant Guardian to strike first. <clears throat> so that our Screeching Dragon strikes second and gets the kill, so it gets the Fury. I hope they didn't disconnect. This has been a good game. Soshi, come back. Blinded Caretaker is a good way to turn on Radiant Guardian also. Ooh. Yeah, I guess they disconnected. That'd be my guess. Kadra Okay, there we go. Let's pass. All right, so that's 10 cards in hand. This unspeakable horror, <laughs> creating a Cliff's Dragon that creates infinite mind splitter. Come on. Guardian's back. There you are. And and Blighted Caretaker also pretty awesome with Remembrance, making things cost a lot. You know, making a lot of things dead in one turn and making Remembrance pretty cheap. All right, GG's. Okay, got some scouts. Maybe we get... Okay, I like the Remembrance. Remembrance single combat, I like that. Remembrance concerted strike. I mean, Blighted Caretaker can be pretty good. Um, yeah, Blighted Caretaker can be pretty good. I think I'm going to mulligan a concerted strike also, though. Let's see what else we get. Oh, double remembrance. 
do. It's not gonna be like it's. We want Radiant Guardian, but we can't get Radiant Guardian on turn three with Remembrance. It's not gonna be perfect. This is setting up Remembrance on three, and then uh, uh, Single Combat and Unspeakable Horror on four, which could be good if they have like a barrier oh, or that thing. Hey, who scouts now? The problem, of course, is I, I want my Great Horde Companion to die on turn five, which is in two turns. I've got your back. Gift lock. A real battle. All right, so 13. 15. create a Nightfall card if I cast Unspeakable Horror right now, but I kind of want to do that. Love ya. Why can't Radiant Guardian be a 5-5? It's more fair as a 5-5. Alright, so they gotta have repose. No, they just want to do all that damage and then let me heal the Nexus. If they don't challenge, I'm still just blocking one of those things. Okay, yeah, they're attacking over here, so this has got to be... This has got to be repost. Yeah, you think this has got to be repost. Stay back! All right, so my plan is to put it in front of the Bright Steel Protector so that they repost the Bright Steel Protector, and then I single combat and fight and kill the Misfortune. And so my Radiant Guardian does die, but we're killing Misfortune. And, you know, healing our Nexus and stuff. They're left with three cards and these three little things. And then we don't take any of the extra damage. Unspeakable horror is awesome. My shield is yours. So what if they have another repost here? You do eight damage to me. That's not as bad, it's only five damage. Draw. Nothing gets between me and my mark. The more we learn, the less we fear. Scouting ahead. Okay. Real good. A real battle. Mm. All 
All right, down to six. I'll be able to challenge the Quinn with the Screeching Dragon. So let's see, we're gonna have eight mana. I want to play any of you first. Man, that's a great draw. Yeah, we have a lot of good options. <laughs> um, Everywhere I go, the light follows. I'm gonna go with the champion. I've got your back. be very surprised if we lose this. Don't really know exactly what could happen to make us lose. I'll be very surprised if it if whatever it is does happen. This is my choice. I mean, they would just I could attack with luck so they just block with the Quinn. Didn't feel like it was very necessary. Think of anything they could have. Actually here. So this should be over. There we go, GG's. The superior tactic just Your deck's just pretty pretty I don't know, it just works, you know? <laughs> pretty impressive. It just works. All right, playing against some more scouts. Ah, uh, yeah, the scout deck. Uh, I saying you don't like how the scout deck has no card draw. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, we have the attack token turn three. That's very good. Let's mulligan these two. So yeah, we have our curse keeper blighted caretaker combo this game with the attack token on turn three. So that works out pretty well. Hey, what's up, potato? Just catching the uh, catching the Wednesday stream. Uh, Light of Caretaker is not very good if they don't play anything. They gotta play stuff. Fortune favors the bold. It's arguable. Everyone's a garden. I love this start though. You know, like they just see like Shivana, Lux. I, people can't be expecting. <laughs> Curse Keeper Blight and Caretaker, but it's just so good. Whoa, make it rain? Oh no. And they hit the sapling. Of course, that was Misfortune Champion spell. And they hit my other two one. That was a great make it rain. Man, if only they killed... If only we had one more thing die, I could have cast Remembrance right there. You're covered. We were pretty close to being able to... cast... Remembrance. So I can... Repose isn't going to do a whole lot on uh, defense here. I can, So I can spend the two cards and my 4-2 and kill the Misfortune, right? I can do single combat and then Unspeakable Horror. I would still ha I'd have Remembrance next turn. No, that doesn't seem worth it. So that challenges. Oh, we're gonna block there, play Remembrance. Cool, that card's pretty tough. Out 
Well, Screeching Dragon's good. But I also can't, you know, I want to play these things, but I don't know, maybe we just play Screeching Dragon. Guess we'll test to see if they keep up repost or not. So they can have repost and sharp sight. I gotta show you okay, the they're not the keeping anything up. The are fine. The smells on the other hand. Right out! I'll stop you. It's definitely gonna be hesitant to attack. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. Genevieve. All right, so these are going to trade. The Screeching Dragon will kill the Quinn, which will give it Fury, so it will go to four health, and then it will be able to kill the Valor and survive. And we wipe out their board, and we still have our cool Screeching Dragon chilling, doing its thing. Mm, I guess I'm just going to attack for seven. Put him down to seven. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Won't have anything die before remembrance. All right, cool. All right, let's mess some folks up. Unspeakable horror looking pretty good against those scouts. Like to play something first. Slow down, will you? I know, right? I don't really have anything to play first, though. Oh no! Why'd I wait? I think my plan is just going to be Judgment. Here we go. So we'll kill a lot of them. And all the Fury will make this dragon pretty big. It's so furious. All right, GG's. So I wanted to draw just any kind of cheap unit to be able to play and then play Blighted Caretaker the next turn. Cool, glad, glad you're doing good, new Bloco. Good. Yeah, we're doing good on stream. I'm excited about all three of the decks that we're playing today. I never like playing against Frostbite midrange. That deck is awesome. Single combat's kind of tough to play against. The thing is, like, single combat's like one of my best spells, but it's also tough to play against um, frostbite cards. This is nothing for the first three turns. I should maybe mulligan one of these looking for something to play in the first three turns. I guess I should. Let's do that here. <laughs> I actually love when you mulligan two cards and draw the exact same two again. Oh, and that is awesome. It is really wide open. There is, um, there's nothing that's, um, nothing that's oppressive, nothing that's really played more than anything else. Pretty awesome metagame. Let's get a 4-3. No, Blighted Caretaker was the next card. I wanted to use that two mana since we we're going to be losing a mana. <clears throat> or I'd still have like single combat, but Blighted Caretaker was going to be the next card. 
Dragon blood, Damascian heart. Winter take you. Winter taketh and manners maketh. Um, depending on whether I want to unspeakable horror, that uh, that three one. If they play the five one challenger, I'll be sad if I use the unspeakable horror right there on that on that three one. I guess I can wait. The, the only reason to play it first was so that I would be able to attack in with the four three, but I think I'd probably rather block with the four three. Anyway. I didn't see that specific list, but I, I do think that Fearsome decks are very good. I, there's a lot of um, real good Fearsome decks these days. I think it's powerful. Did just kind of realize that we are looking pretty bad against... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Reckoning? Like, I was thinking about playing Lux, but I was like, wait, if I play Lux, they play Reckoning. That's not good. So, what if I challenge this thing? Break them. Attack with those? Nah, I just don't. Look lively, soldier. Let's just do that. Okay, yeah, they splash three pill cascade. Yeah, that's I I like that's my that is my favorite splash. With that Pale Cascade is just incredibly strong. So yeah, the Fearsome List with Pale Cascade, that is my favorite out of those. Um I guess I, I could cast on Yielding Spirit right now, because they can't they can't Oh no, because they could frostbite plus culling strike. I was gonna say they can't culling strike, but wait, they could just frostbite and then culling strike. So never mind. Alright, get these things to be five power. Um I wouldn't mind if they would have had Shivana and Hearthgar trade, and then I would have been able to Remembrance easier. Man, there's just none of these cards that I really want to play right now. I guess I don't have to. Both have eight mana. Alright, that one's good. It's good against Sejuani. The longer the game goes, the better for us, probably, except for... Um, Triparian Assessor. Then I, I guess they also have Hearth Guard. It's going to make their things bigger. I really hope they're not like a Captain Farron version, because Captain Fer Farron just ends the game right away. Gotcha. Alright, they can still oh, Reckoning. We should too. I don't know if I should be playing this. A chill in the air. Yeah, you want to kill that thing? That's fine with me. Yeah, I mean, that's fine with me. Yeah. Shivana not nearly as important as Lux. Alright, so I spent two mana for Lux. Just have three cards. So considering unyielding spiriting that, considering unyielding spiriting the Lux. What like what are the odds that they have? Like they have to like so Culling Strike plus like Harsh Winds or Flash Freeze. Like that's probably not like they already played a Culling Strike. That's probably not the case. Um, let's see. So I want to wait, 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 stop. I want to single combat you and you, and I want to unyielding spirit you. I really, you know, obviously they can completely blow this up with Frostbite plus Culling Strike. But if they don't have that, we're going to be looking real good. Okay. They do not have that. I'll give me that Final Spark. We'll fight that, keep my dragon alive. Because my dragon pretty cool. We'll kill the 4-2, I guess. And we are in, um, you know, prime position to win this with an unyielding spirit on a Lux. 
It's also going to be 11 damage to me. Put me down to 4. I guess I shouldn't have cast the final spark. Should have just waited. Not let them do that. Curse Keeper Caretaker takes up four spots. I serve my people with pride. I like that draw. It's a good draw. Attack. The torches. Probably not going to be doing too much with these Blighted Caretakers. I'm down to seven. I don't really need to save Shivana. Four cards. I basically need to try to keep them from, you know, play. Like, their way to win this is like Ash plus other things, surprise attack, that kind of stuff. Cool. So, feeling pretty good about this one. Sacrifice this to not have it have the vulnerable. And that's obviously completely fine. We'll take that. They can still play Lux, or sorry, Ash for four mana, but Ash I don't think can kill me from here. And there we go, GG's. Alright, we're 4 and 0 oh with Shivana Lux. Let's go. Is to never give up. I guess I don't. Ooh. Playing some Anivia. I could see us losing to Harrowing. Yes, yeah, so there's there's a leaderboard that shows like your rank and everything. Yeah, I could see this being a pretty hard matchup. Also. Let's mulligan these for sure. And Screeching Dragon, you're pretty good. I'll keep you, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not like obliterating anything. I just have Vengeance, and Anivia is good against Vengeance. Unyielding Spirit would be a really good one to draw. We can get like an unyielding spirit on something that could be pretty important, but still, just yeah, Anivia's can outgrind. Oh, why don't we have the attack token? That would have been nice to be able to attack right away. Still going to. I could see Grass the Undying being their plan, maybe, and we'd have her post. Can 
see the ah, I have Rosen Hearth card. That's a, that was a good draw step. Great blocker. Oh, I, li I like that. I like that, Pony. What is this? So why would you attack? So can't cast Ruination yet. Was the plan Grasp the Undying if I block with Screeching Dragon to try to grow that? So my guess is two avalanches. I know I could glimpse beyond the egghead researcher, but I'm gonna wait to see what they do with the, because you know, they have like something else that does like one or, you know, one damage or something like that. And that's why I want to wait. Um, you know, they could have had like a, a vile feast, like maybe that was like their other plan was just to, to vile feast that thing. And so if I start with the Glimpse Beyond, maybe they just file feast my uh, other thing. Or Unspeakable Horror, or, you know, something like that. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Let's brighten up their day. I'm expecting a Nivea. Forever watch. Um, good glimpse beyond. I was I was thinking the vengeance would kill the Anivia, and then Lux would give me the final spark to kill the egg at Nivia. Now I do have like the screeching dragon that can challenge. I don't want to play something first for, because of Ruination. Give me six mana left. Out. I like the Unspeakable Horror for another dead Agnivia later. And while I could play another Lux, now I... I did not really want to. Justice will be served. Let's just play a Radiant Guardian. Something ancient stirs. This is really difficult to. This is a difficult game to navigate. I'm sure I'm not going to make the most perfect of decisions. So for Eclipse Dragon. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. Still really want to draw in Yielding Spirit. I think that's my best card. Do not test my patience. Okay, that's their last avalanche. Am I saving you, Screeching Dragon? Wrapped in cold silence. Yeah, this deck's very difficult to play against. 
I protect this place. Shivana just... <laughs> I don't know, it's just... I don't really want to spend the mana in the capital to save Shivana, and Shivana's just, you know, like another dragon that we're going to have plenty of cards similar to. We did play the Zombie Anivia deck one time recently, and we did go 5-0 with it. That was just a couple, just like two weeks ago. We each died, then found hope. I'm using another Unspeakable Horror that's good at, again, at killing a Nivea, but keeping them from drawing the two cards. I don't need Cygnus. Where's Eclipse Dragon? Ugh. We're not good at creating Eclipse Dragon. Good at creating these things I don't care about. Yeah, har yeah, harrowing. That's that's definitely what I'm really worried about. I want to find my unyielding spirit for my Lux. Nothing escapes my watch. Uh, yeah, the these decks could be good in platinum. Definitely, there's not really any difference between any of the you know going to gold or platinum. I, mean, I don't know, maybe when you're down at gold, maybe, but like uh, platinum, diamond, masters, those three are basically the same. Uh, with the decks you face and everything. It's all about finding a deck you enjoy and what you what you can play well, what you can pilot well. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really have any capture in my deck, so that... I bring the storm. Can't do that. Uh, the deck code is... That right there. You can always do exclamation point deck. If you'd like to see the deck list, and that, that link has the code in it. Stay back. Hmm. Not the egg. Wait, why is this thing dying? Oh right, this thing's doing two damage. Right, the glacial storm's doing two damage. Gonna have like ruination at any time. Okay, well, now they can't have. Now they can't have vengeance or ruination. Alright, GG's, because we'll keep those things from blocking for a turn, open attack here. And there we go. I guess they didn't have another Anivia in their hand for harsh winds or anything like that. Yeah, you know, we don't don't know what was in their hand, but uh, we'll take we'll take the win. So 5-0 there for Shivana Lux. This deck was very impressive. That that last game, like I don't think you're you're really gonna beat the zombie Anivia deck too often. I think that the unyielding spirit's gonna be really the the card that you need, but sometimes I guess that just happens. I guess opponent's hand wasn't very good. Uh, we'll take it. Um, so there we go. There's there's just a you know just a different deck. You want to play something that's different that that works really well. It 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 really does. Like this, <laughs> the Shadow Isles seems like kind of weird placement, but it, it honestly just works uh, pretty well. All right, but anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. If you try it out yourself, let me know how it, it's going for you, how you like it. All that kind of stuff. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Shivana Lux, and I'll see you for the next video.